with former Green Bay Packers sharing how his time on the frozen tundra prepared him to be a winter Olympian. Wide receiver Johnny Quinn became a bobsledder with Team USA in 2014 at 30 years old. Argelia Fellow spoke to Quinn about what he learned from being a Packer and an Olympian. We're going, you know, 80 miles an hour down an icy mountain with no seat belts. Crashes happen. Even on a smooth bobsled ride, you're pulling four to five G's. A feeling Johnny Quinn could only hold up to playing for Green Bay in 2008. To have my first NFL reception on Monday Night Football in Lambeau Field. Yes! Oh, That's the new rule. Unbelievable. Amazing. Quinn had to make it up the ranks in the NFL first through hard work. One time, he got a little help from his friend, Aaron Rodgers. When I got into the, into the weight room with the Green Bay Packers, they've got all their proteins lined up in, in a fridge, and I went to grab one, and when I pulled it out, the whole shelf fell. And so, like, 14 proteins uh, fall out on the floor, and they've got the you know, safety caps on them. But, you know, I just felt so embarrassed. And then Aaron was right there, and, and he helped me clean them up. Super humble and genuine guy. Quinn's athleticism as a wide receiver made him a perfect candidate to push the 400 pound bobsled. He showed us the gear he wore during the 2014 Olympic Games. Very light and we've got USA here on the top. When you're in a bobsled going 80 miles an hour, our coaching staff should see four USA's in a straight line. Because if you're in that bobsled moving around, your helmet's going everywhere, you can potentially mess the bobsled up so our driver crashes if you're moving all around. He had to overcome the setback of getting benched the third week of the Olympic year. Now, there's only eight weeks in an Olympic year, and so you better be on the team week eight. Julia, sure, it worked out, but how do you handle getting benched in life? Which he wrote about in his book called Push. The father of two now lives in Texas. The public speaker and businessman will never forget his time representing our red, white, and blue, as well as our green and gold. So if you read, wear the green and gold for any amount of time, uh, you're part of the Packers family. Julia Fellow, TMG4 News. All right, Julia, thank you. Johnny also talks about the mental hurdles you have to go through to be an Olympian. You can hear more about that in this story that you can find at TMJ4.com.